here I'm using a physics textbook as a rigid body. As a rectangular solid, it has three easily identifiable principal axes of rotation. It can rotate this way, this way, and this way. We find, though, that it is only stable when rotating along two of these. I'll start by rotating it this way. Notice the title is always going to stay on my left. Now, this way. See, the bottom of the book is going to stay on my left, top of the book will stay on my right. Now, I'm going to flip it this way. Notice the binding is going to start on my left. And now, it's on my right. Left, right. So each time I rotated the book this way, but along different axes. The only time it flipped along a different axis was when I rotated it this way. Every other time, the left stayed on the left and the right stayed on the right. So we'll call the three sides of the rectangular solid x, y, and z, such that x is larger than y, which is larger than z. If we rotate it about the z-axis, the moment of inertia goes as x squared plus y squared. The moment of inertia about the x-axis, y squared plus z squared. And about the y-axis, x squared plus z squared. So, based on this relation, iz is greater than iy, which is greater than ix. iz and ix, being the largest and smallest principal moments of inertia, are stable for rotation. So, if we hold the book up, rotating about the x-axis is like this. Rotating about the z-axis is like this, rotating about the y-axis, like so. And we noticed, rotating about the y-axis is the one that was unstable.